you know, I love when you get to a spot and uh, you know right away that these fish are going to be stacked up down there. And again, the key to this crappie fishing always is, I can't stress it enough, is that when, like right now, we're in about nine feet of water and I'm catching these fish only, it took about maybe 10 minutes to let it cool down because I came in here with the boat and bumped it a little bit. I try to come into these snags as quiet as I can but sometimes you are gonna bump them a little bit and it will spook them for a little bit. And I'd say probably, like I said, about 10 minutes, but I came in here and right now I'm only fishing about two and a half feet down, that's it. So these fish are stacked right there. And I know that, you know, I'm in nine feet of water, so I know that there's fish layered almost all the way down. One thing I've always learned about, especially fishing up on the Wolf River, I know when the spot is pretty much done is when you start getting down towards the bottom and you start catching rock bass, it's time to pull everything up and get out of there and go to a new spot. And most of the time, you know, that's the nice part about this system is you got a lot, a lot of river here and it's an incredible system. So what you're doing is you're just jumping from spot to spot to spot. You know, with plastics, you got to jig it a lot more. You got to be able to keep that plastic moving. So you, I don't stall it very long, you know, a split second, jig it, jig it, stall it for a second, jig it, jig it, stall it for a second. With a minnow, you know, especially in the current like this, I'll put it down there and I'll jig it just a little bit and I'll let it sit there because obviously that's alive and it's moving. Oh, there was one. It's moving all the time. So a different presentation for sure when you're using plastics, a lot more aggressive. And you know, one thing about crappies too, you gotta remember, is they always push the bait up. So as soon as you feel that little bit of pressure, right away I start lifting a little bit and then when I feel it, then I set the hook. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I tell you, you know something? This is getting pretty repetitious right here. I'm gonna keep that one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Now that, that my friends is an absolutely awesome crappie right there. Now that's about as big as you want to keep them right there. That's probably about, about a 12 incher. And I tell you, these these crappie kalins are absolutely awesome baits and if you can see how that bait moves through the water it's got a very unique action with these little paddles on the back of it right there and I'll tell you so far it is kicking some royal hiney right there so awesome oh here we go again <laughs> I love this stuff now see now this one's a little bit too small right here you know, that's probably only about a seven, eight incher. Now, again, here's another key thing about when you're crappie fishing. Never take this crappie and just throw it right back into where you just caught him. What's going to happen, he's going to go back down or he's going to sit there and shake and shake and you actually will scare a lot of the other fish. So what I do is just take him to this side of the boat, throw him out in the current a little bit, he'll be fine. Oh, away he goes. You know, I've always, and I have say this all the time, is that little things that you do in fishing make such a huge difference. So it's something to always remember. The small things about not dropping all the way down on the bottom and pulling, pulling them bottom fish up through the rest of the school. When you catch a small one, throw it out to the outside of the boat. Don't throw it right back into where you're catching them. These will help you catch more fish, believe me. Here we go. You know, I have to admit, you guys, I went about 15 minutes without catching one on the kalins, and that's what I do a lot of times when I pull onto these spots. Right away, I always go to the plastics like the kalins, and then what I do is that once things slow down, I go to the minnows and see how many more I can catch. And boy, it took me about 10 minutes, and I finally caught one more out of there. See, we've caught probably, what, eight, nine off this spot pretty much burnt it out. Now it's time to move on to the next spot. But before that, it's time to go get the clients. Hey everybody, Little Stinker and I hope you love our videos. You know what, if you do love our videos and there's other things that you want to learn and see, let us know. So contact us on our Larry Smith Outdoors YouTube channel and we will try to answer your questions and help you out.